I still have a cold, so I'm after games just now that don't require a lot of physical dexterity, but still keep my brain awake. Uh, this one's called Hex Cells, and it was recommended to me by uh, Ravenworks. Uh, you may remember her from the Mr. Friendly video uh, all the way back uh, when I first started doing Send Lawyers to Hell. But uh, this is very different. Uh, this is uh, by Matthew Brown, who's an independent puzzle game designer. He's got a very uh, interesting list of puzzle games on Steam. Uh, this particular one, Hex Cells, is sort of Pycross, sort of Minesweeper. I suppose Pycross is sort of Minesweeper, but uh, the objective is you've got to find all the blue cells while being told where the blue cells are in a variety of different ways. Uh, this looks like a hideously complicated level. This is quite far on after a lot of concepts have been introduced, so I'll just try to talk you through a level and what I'm thinking, because it's something to do. Um, right, first of all, I can see that there's zero here, so there are no blue cells around those, so I can mark those as not blue. And when I mark them as not blue, using the right mouse button, uh, I can uncover what's underneath them. There's another zero there, so I can uncover those. There's a one there, so it could be there, there could be a blue cell there, so I'm not sure about that one. But there's a two there, so those are definitely both blue cells. Uh, the one's already covered, so I can uncover that, and there's one more in there. Um, where next? I'm just getting the obvious ones. There's this one here, uh, the three with dashes around it. That means there are three blue cells around it, but they're not uh, connected to each other. They're not consecutive. Uh, here, that isn't really a useful thing to uh, have information on. <laughs> because uh, they can't be consecutive. It could either be two here and one here, or one here and two there. So uh, the fact that they're not consecutive doesn't really tell me anything there. Let's go back over here. So we've got a three here, and the three in a blue uh, hexagon means that three other hexagons that aren't this one also are blue in this radius. Um, again, this doesn't tell me anything on its own, because uh, at least two of these are blue, but I don't know which ones. Uh, at this stage of the game, you often have to put one or more, uh, two or more clues together uh, in order to make sense of them. So I'm going to just sweep the board and look at uh, where else I can go. There's a there's a three in uh, braces here, and the three uh, and the braces are opposite from the dashes. The braces mean that the blue tiles are consecutive. Uh, that means uh, either the pattern is that, 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 or this one, this one, this one, or this one, this one, this one. In all the possibilities, that one must be blue. Let's have a look elsewhere. Here's something useful. Just like the numbers inside the tiles, the braces here mean that in this row or column or diagonal, uh, there are four blue tiles and they're all consecutive, which means that there's not room for four consecutive blue tiles here, so I can safely eliminate those. One, two, three, four, and I've only got four left, so they must be all blue here. All right, let's uh, take out that clue. There's another zero here, uh, which I hadn't noticed before, so uh, let's get that one. That one has one next to it. It's got to be that one. Uh, that one has one next to it, which could be this one, could be this one, we're not quite sure at this stage. This means that there are two blue tiles here and they're not consecutive, so that means that isn't one. And that gives me another clue for here. This one's got to have this one, because uh, it wouldn't have room to have two otherwise. Uh, this one, <laughs> the question marks mean I might have some blue tiles around me, I might not, I'm not telling. Uh, and those only appeared fairly recently, and they're infuriating. Usually uh, you would get a clue for everything you uncovered, but uh, these ones don't like telling you. Uh, this is two non-consecutive, and we've got one there, which means that can't be blue, which means that one must be blue. Similarly, in fact, completely oppositely, that one is two consecutive, so that one's on, so that one must be on. And that one isn't. That one already has its two, so we can eliminate that. This one has three non-consecutive, so it can't be this, this, this. One of them has to be here. And now, if I open up that four, one, two, three, four, and itself. So it's already got its four blue tiles, so I can eliminate all of these. And you can see how it comes together. 
uh, all these clues you unravel threads. It's it's really very satisfying. It has a nice soundtrack. Uh, it's really very pleasant. Uh, this one's got to be one because it needs two. That's already got its three. This does not have three. This needs three, so that's that one. That's already got its three, so I can uncover that one. That's got two, so that's fine. This one's already got its two now, so I can take out this and this. This one uh, needs two and it only has one tile left, so that's one of them. I actually like to turn these all on most of the time to remind myself that I've got uh, clues that apply to this uh, particular row or column. It can make it look a bit messy, but uh, it's that makes it even more satisfying to clean up. There we go. Here's where you can put two clues together. This one has one next to it, so that means this one and this one can't be on. Hold on a second while I finish this thought in my brain. Yeah, I know where I was going, so this one and this one can't be on, but we know that one of them must be on because this one has three, so because this doesn't have room for three unless one of those is on, that one's safe and that one's safe, and this one is blue and this one is blue, yes, okay. I say safe, but there's no real consequences to clicking uh, to misidentifying a tile. Your mistakes counter will increase, but you can continue. It doesn't stop a level or anything. Uh, you get the full score for a level just by going through it with no mistakes. And uh, if you are, uh, if you decide to, there's nothing stopping you from just screenshotting your work so far, putting it in again. Uh, the game's nice and relaxed like that. So we've got one blue tile here. Uh, that's already covered, so we can eliminate those. We've got one here, that's got to be it, so that can't be one because we've now fulfilled the three. Right, here's another one uh, where we can put two clues together. There are three blue tiles around here, uh, and it's already got two. This one has two next to it. If two of them were there, then that would overfill the three, so that's got to be blue. Doesn't get me much, but every little tidbit of information helps. Now look at this, I can get a big uh, furrow of them across here. There's two blue in, in this um, diagonal, so I can just click my way across all the way over here. And that should open up a ton of things. Uh, two, obviously, that fulfills that too, so I can get rid of those. That must be three. That's already got one next to it, so that doesn't help. That's three as well. I always have a bit of hesitation before clicking. But sometimes it's also possible to overthink it, and you don't you don't want to uh, stew in your own brain too much. How's this one doing? This one's eleven, which is quite a lot, and it is quite a long row. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so if I know the status of two more of these, uh, I'll be able to get that entire diagonal as well. This three here, there are only three yellow tiles around it, so that's got to be all on. Uh, and that two, that's already got its two, so that isn't one, so that needs a two, so that is one. That's already got its three, that's already got its two, that needs one, that has one in that row, so none of these are one, so that has three consecutive, and there are only three left, so that can go around there. That's got its one, let's eliminate that one, that's got two. Uh, and I think that's where that trail of clues might stop. Let's have a look at this six now, because sometimes that can be used in surprising ways, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so we've got five. We need to fit one, two, one, two, three, four, five. We need to fit four blue tiles into this. And we know that both of those aren't on, uh, because we've got the three here, and there's no other way to fulfill three. So we could take that one blue tile must be there, but no more than one. That means we've got one, two, three is somewhere there, and the only other place that they could be is four, five, six. So that allows us to keep on going over here, because we've got one, that's a zero. That one, that's already fulfilled. 
That's got two non-consecutive. There it is. That's all we've got one, that's two, and what now? We can almost do the same with this six. I don't think we can do anything with it yet, because we've got one, two, three, four. So we know that two of these are blue and one of them isn't. If this one were blue, that doesn't really tell us anything, because uh, those could be anything. And if this one were blue, that also doesn't tell us anything. So that's cold just now, but we'll come back to it. Here's a row clue that I hadn't uh, looked at. We've got one, we've got two, that must be the third. This one we've already fulfilled. One, two, three. Uh, so far, I don't think any of the levels you have to follow one route strictly. Uh, I think there are always multiple clues to uh, get you back to uh, finding somewhere to go. And I like that. It never becomes... It never because it looks daunting sometimes, but uh, it's always still satisfying to solve. Let's look at those four. One, two. Uh, that yeah, that doesn't quite tell me anything again because again, I could say, all right, was one? There's exactly one there, so there's exactly one there, but I don't know which one for either of them. Oh, this was just sitting there. Uh, the five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, that's already got its one, and that needs two, so it's either that one or that one. Let's go back to this 11, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so when I find one more along this line that's impossible, then I'll, I'll know that I can fill out that row. I can't believe this code's hung on that this long, honestly. It's uh, it's not COVID. I've tested multiple times. Uh, it's just, I've never slept this long, this hard in my life. It's like a shareware demo of being dead. Oh, here's one. Uh, we've got one, two, three along this. So that isn't one, and that isn't one. All right, this is more like it. We've now got one, two, three, and four for here. That fulfills that three as well. We've got one, two, three around here. That gets those two. There are five in this, which means it's either that one or that one. We'll see. And we've got six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that we can take out, which means that we need two along here. So that's one. One, two, three, four, five. One of these is blue. We don't know which one. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to find out which one, but that was a problem for later. The game's set up. These aren't uh, procedurally generated or anything. These are all designed puzzles. Uh, so it's set up so you will never have to guess. It doesn't stop you guessing. It's not out of the question. Um, but there's always a clue that can lead you forward. Here, for example... I've got the eight here, one, two, three, four, and then four of these are blue. I could take a stab at one of them if I wanted to, because there's a one in five chance that I'd be wrong. But I don't feel like it. Here's something I can do. I know that there are six along this row. One, two, three, four. So two out of three of these are blue. This five's here, so I've got one, two, three, four. One out of two of these is blue. So to make it six, that one's got to be blue. And one of those is the remaining one. Along the same lines, because I know that one of those is blue and one isn't. One, two, three, four, five. Now does this do anything here? I've got the nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only one of these is, is uh, black, but I don't know which one. Yeah, I think I've been ignoring this side for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six. All of these are blue. And that was how I was able to tell one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got my six now, so that one can be taken out. I think this is another one I can use now. There's a four, one, two, three, four. There are only those tiles left. So let's colour those. That means that has its one. That one's one must be there. 
And that gets me a little bit closer on this side, but I'm not sure I can say anything for sure yet. Oh, that one's got its two now, so I can eliminate those. And that means uh, one of these three, exactly one of these three, is on. Because I've already, uh, I've got three in this column here, and we've got one and two, and only one of these is on. So it can't be that one. Because that would mean I would need another one on there. That's got two on. I'm still not quite confident enough to say which one is blue there. At least we can say that uh, we've got we need two here, so that one's blue. And what else? We've got three up there. One. I'm not really sure about that either. Oh, that one's already got three around it. Okay, so I can get rid of those. Uh, that this two needs that one there, good. Uh, this needs a two. Don't know about that. This needs three. So that one, that one. That's got its two. That does not have its two. It needs that one. One, two, three, four. That one's got its two. So it can't be that one. That one is blue. This is we're getting somewhere now. I think this has also fulfilled this line here. One, two. Three, four, five. And I've only got five there. That means I can safely mark that one. That's got the one. One, two, three, and that would give us the two, and um, we already know that for we didn't end up having to use that. Great. Here's another line I can use. There are six there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that one of those is on, because I've got the three up there, and one, two, so that one or that one is on. This one isn't on, because we've fulfilled the two. One, two, that needs four, so both of those ones are on. One, two, and three, that one's off. Three, one, two, three, uh, but I've already done all that, so I can't tell the extra from it. Right, this, uh, there are three, uh, one of these is on, it's that one, because that needs the two. That's got its three, turn that on, and that's got its two, so we can take out that one. And that's another clue gone. Just cleaning up to do now over here, I think. You'd think I'd be able to do something here by now, but... I know that that has eight blue blue squares. They're obviously not squares, what am I saying? Uh, one, two, three, four tiles are blue and five are yellow. So I'm not quite there. I know that one of those... Oh, hang on a minute. This is this is useful. Because I know that one of those and, and only one of those is yellow. So having got that information, we know one of those is yellow. And this only has eight, so this one, this one, and this one must be blue. There we go. This one has uh, two non-consecutive, so that is black. This one has two non-consecutive, so that's th these ones. This one has three around it. Uh, one of them's got to be this one, because we've got two non-consecutive tiles starting from there. Uh, even if there's a gap between hexagons, it still counts as uh, consecutive. It took me a moment to get that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, that's the middle section sorted out. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh, this one isn't one. We've uh, got the three there. All right. Uh, I'm looking at seven, see if I can get that isolated one over there. I don't think I quite can yet, because one, two, three, four, five blue tiles. It could be there, it could be there. Uh, it actually is. Uh, actually, I do know that it's both. I need two. Excellent. That one, three. I've got those. This one's got three. I don't know that yet, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. That, uh, it must be one of those, but not both, because I've already got two around the three. That's one. We can look at this in a different way, actually, and say that because we know one of those is on, and exactly one, 
we know that this can't be one, because otherwise the three would be a four. <laughs> I'm saying these quite confidently, but uh, I, as the game goes on, you get more and more afraid to make mistakes. I've been staring at this for quite a while now, hoping that some revelation will come to me. Maybe Peter Gabriel can appear and give it to me. That's going to make no sense. Subscribe to the Patreon if you want to know what I'm talking about. Um, but I think I might have a way forward with some risky uh, set theory here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one of these is eight. Exactly one of those is eight. We know that. We've got one, two, and four more of these are blue. One of them is here. Three more are blue. Two of them are here, because that one's already got three. So that eliminates two. Therefore, we've got one left. That must be blue. Yes. <sighs> Breathe again. This three's been bothering me for a while. Can I tell anything from this yet? I've got one, two, so exactly one of these is blue. And it's got to be one of these, so this one isn't blue. All right. That means I've got this whole column here. I've filled out all of those except this one, so that one must be blue. It's, it's one. Got rid of that. Uh, one, two... Does this tell me anything down here? Let's open it six. One, two, three, four. Um, one of them's there. We know that. Because of the eight. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And one other one. Oh, I've been overlooking this for ages. This is a five. Uh, so that's got two next to it. That's got two next to it. That one's already fulfilled, so we need one for this two and one for this two. So two of the... no, one of the... hang on a minute. Alright, what I think I'm saying is, if one of these is blue, that fulfills the two, that fulfills the two, but it would mean that there were only four blue tiles up here, so it's got to be this one, and this one, and not this one, and that one's got to be blue, and that one can't be blue, and that one's got to be blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, that one can't be blue. That's got four. One, two, three, one, two, three, that's not one. What now? I think we might be able to use this 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is not one. It's got five. There are two remaining, which means it's this one and it's this one. Uh, so that's uh, hex cells. Uh, I'm just going to check the amount of time that I took on this one. That's 45 minutes uh, for this video. <laughs> but uh, they were 45 very pleasant minutes. It was exactly the kind of brain activity that I needed at this time. Uh, this is Hex Cells by Matthew Brown. Uh, this particular level is from Hex Cells Plus. There are uh, several different uh, ones in the series. And it's just a very pleasant puzzle game to, to click away and uh, try to keep your brain awake on. Oh no. Thank you to everyone on the left here for supporting me creating Stumbling Tours videos. If you'd like to join in or make suggestions for other games to cover, please have a look at David X. Newton on Patreon.